welcome to bsc statistics students in this class i explain graphical method of solving 2 by n and m by 2 games in the game theory how to solve 2 by n games and m by 2 games by using graphical method <coughs> i'm sorry uh if any any one of the player having uh, two strategies and uh, other player having any number of strategies then graphical method is one of the most important method uh, which can be solved this uh, these kinds of uh, game game problems can be solved by using the graphical method graphical method is one such uh, predominant method very uh, uh, good method of uh, solving the problem game theory game problems there are two kinds uh, the 2 by n and m by 2 games so 2 by n games which means uh, player a is having two game two strategies and uh, player b is having n strategies and uh, m by 2 games means player a is having m number of strategies and uh, player b having two strategies only now first of all graphical method for 2 by n games then uh, easily we can if you uh, know the method of 2 by n games so we can easily uh, uh, do the uh, m by 2 games and you can easily uh, identify and uh, you can uh, uh, easily learn the uh, m by 2 games m by 2 uh, graphical method right for the first of all you consider for 2 by n games and let us consider 2 by n rectangular games without shadow point with the payoff matrix that is uh, if you have the shadow point there is no need to consider any kind of method if the, the shadow point does not exist then only any any other method any kind of any one of the methods are of uh, solving the uh, problem game problem right so that is uh, if you consider the payoff matrix for two by n rectangular games player a is having two strategies a1 a2 and player b having uh, any number of strategies for some number of strategies finite number of strategies b1 b2 and so on bn and then the payoff matrix is a11 for strat for the player a the strategy a1 corresponding to the strategy a1 the payoffs are a11 a12 and so on a1n corresponding to the player b uh, strategies and similarly um, corresponding to player uh, a, a player a strategy a2 the payoffs are a21 a22 and so on a2 yeah, that is a11 a12 and so on a1n a21 a22 and so on a2n yeah. Uh, if it if it if it is the payoff matrix then what we have to consider is we have to consider the mixed strategies for player a or uh, sa is equal to a1 a2 p1 p2 and uh, mm, the where p1 plus p2 is equal to 1 and p1 p2 are greater than equal to 0 mm, then we, we have already discussed us uh, one kind of uh, uh, yeah, and the lesson in one one particular lesson we have discussed uh, what is the nature of considering the maximum strategy uh, if uh, uh, games uh, without shadow point games uh, for a particular game shadow point does not exist what we want to do is we have to consider uh, b's uh, pure strategy and a's expected gain which means uh, if player b plays with the strategy b1 what is the expected gain of player a so it is uh, going to be obtained by g1 or e1p is equal to a11 multiplied by if you let you write down here p1 p2 then a11 multiplied by p1 plus a21 multiplied by p2 and uh, that is if you if you express uh, as in the function of uh, p1 only then we can convert into a11 p1 plus a21 into p2 is 1 minus p1 that you consider and so that entire function entire uh, this particular uh, polynomial is going to be converted in terms of uh, P1. Similarly, if player B uh, uses the strategy B2, then um, the expected gain for player uh, A is G2 is equal to E2P. For example, you can, can consider these two notations is equal to A12 into P1 plus A22 into P2. So we can convert again A, A12 P1 plus A22 into 1 minus P1. Similarly, if player B selects uh, and so on, uh, uh, player B selects uh, the strategy B and then expected gain for player A is Gn is equal to Np is equal to A1NP1 plus A2NP2. is nothing but A1NP1 1, 1 1 plus A2N into 1 minus P2 uh, is replaced by 1 minus P1. So now all each and every expected gain is expressed in terms of the P1. 
right so therefore among which uh, the player uh, a uh, would like to maximize uh, his minimum expected gains uh, that is according to the maximum principle for mixed strategies the player a should uh, select uh, the value of p1 and p2 so that maximizing his minimum expected gains that is uh, he want to know what are the probabilities uh, of selecting the um, strategies a1 and a2 that is what the values of p1 and p2 uh, and which p the probability is uh, going to uh, use maximum that is uh, which gives the uh, what kind of strategy is going to be used more for such uh, we have to calculate uh, p1 and p2 and that is uh, the maximizing his minimum expected gains this is for the purpose of uh, selecting the and uh, getting the value of maximizing his minimum expected gains right and uh, for which what you have to do is uh, whichever we have expressed the expected as expected gains uh, e1p e2p and so on enp which are linear functions of p1 hence all these uh, can be plotted that is all these linear functions are going to be um, plotted as a straight lines uh, in the graph let us see you have to consider the graph and then you have to express each and every particular uh, fun linear function that is e1p e2p and so on enp that is n straight lines are going to be um, uh, obtained in the graph <coughs> i'm sorry and after obtaining the uh, um, that is straight lines in the graph uh, then uh, uh, you will you will get two envelopes lower envelope and upper envelope that is two areas con going to be identified and uh, 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 identified in the graph um, so that the highest point on the lower envelope of these lines will give the maximum among the minimum expected gains which is called maximum value that is highest point on lower envelope we have to consider lower envelope and which uh, you have to consider highest point uh, uh, you have to consider and which gives you maximum value simply which gives you maximum value that is maximum among us minimum expected gains and uh, the two lines uh, for example uh, uh, the point uh, which intersect uh, two particular lines uh, the two lines passing through the maximum point gives us the strat strategies of player b uh, which uh, which two particular strategies are going to be intersecting that is which two lines uh, uh, that is corresponding to the expected gains uh, that which two particular slight, uh, lines which are going to be uh, intersect a particular point at maximum um, point that is uh, at the maximum value at maximum point and such uh, that is uh, those two particular strategies uh, will provide uh, ultimately two by two rectangular game because player A is uh, al uh, always having two strategies and player B having now n strategies which are reduced into two strategies so therefore two by two um, uh, it is converted into now two by two rectangular game now by using the um, formula we have already discussed uh, the games uh, two by two rectangular games with uh, without shadil point uh, and uh, with the with those formula uh, by applying the formula we calculate p1 p2 and we calculate q1 q2 which means corresponding to which particular strategy for example uh, player b uh, two particular strategies b2 b3 remains then q2 q3 that is uh, we generally no, no need to convert uh, that is again q2 q3 we can consider q1 q2 q1 q2 belongs to b2 b3 the strategies right and so that uh, the value of the game and uh, the value of the game also required to calculate by using this uh, and so that uh, we'll get uh, the optimal strategies of player a and optimal strategy of player b and also value of the game this is the way you you can use and solve the uh, graphical method by the, the, the game uh, the such kind of game 2 by n games are going to be solved by using the graphical method now similarly the graphical method for m by 2 games the only the change is after um, we we do we calculate a's pure strategy we consider a's pure strategy b's expected loss and then among this uh, and again again we can we convert uh, the linear functions of q uh, e1q e2q and so on en emq and so that we have to convert uh, in terms of straight lines and then again we will get lower and upper envelope and what is the difference here the we have to consider upper envelope and is going to be obtained and uh, among uh, the upper envelope we have to consider lowest point 
the lowest point on the upper and lower will give the mini max value of player B. And again, corresponding to that, uh, uh, the two strategies of player A remains. And uh, with the help of that, a 2 by 2 rectangular game is going to be considered. That is, uh, uh, M by 2 games are now, it is going to be reduced into 2 by 2 games. And then uh, by using as usual formula, you can solve the remaining problem. So this is what uh, the game uh, graphical method of solving 2 by n and m by 2 games. I hope you understand. Thank you. Thank you very much.